While the crocodilians of today are semi-aquatic carnivores, the larger group of reptiles they are a part of, Crocodilia morpha, was ancestrally terrestrial. After the lineage that led to crocodilians split off, some of these terrestrial crocodiliomorphs evolved to become herbivores. One of the first of these plant-eating land crocs found was Chimerasuchus. Chimerasuchus lived in China during the early Cretaceous period, about 120 million years ago. The only known specimen was found in the Wulong Formation during the 1960s, though it was not until 1995 that it was finally named. Before this, Chimerasuchus was thought to be a primitive mammal due to the incomplete nature of its remains, and because it possessed teeth similar to one. Chimerasuchus's basic appearance was fairly standard for land crocs. It was a small quadruped with legs held directly beneath its body, with a skull taller and much shorter than most crocodilians. Due to the incomplete nature of its remains, the exact length of Chimerasuchus is unknown, but it is estimated to have been one meter long. It is its teeth that give it its scientific name, Chimerasuchus paradoxus, which means strange chimera crocodile. Chimerasuchus was heterodont, meaning it had more than one type of tooth. While those at the front of the jaw were simple, conical incisors, the rest were multicussed like in mammals. Indeed, Chimerasuchus' teeth were actually better suited for consuming plants than in many modern herbivorous mammals. While such complex and varied teeth are common among mammals, they are rare among reptiles. A ridge found on Chimerasuchus' mandible appears to have been an attachment point for cheeks, which would have helped keep food in while it chewed. The mammal-like teeth were not the only unusual ones. Two of the front teeth protruded out of Chimerasuchus' snout, giving it a bit of a bucktooth appearance. Coincidentally, another bucktooth plant-eater, the Oviraptosaurian dinosaur in Cyvosaurus, is also known from early Cretaceous China. In Chimerasuchus, these buck teeth may have been used for both biting off plant matter and potentially sparring with rivals of the same species. Chimerasuchus's feet were also tipped with large, curved claws that could also have been used for interpacific combat. They may have also been used in defense against predators, digging burrows, or uncovering roots. However, offense would not have been its only option for dealing with predators. An osteoderm was among Chimerasuchus's remains. Osteoderms are pieces of bone that grow out of the skin, which are used for both mineral reserves and as armor. They are present in the crocodilians of today and were abundant among extinct crocodiliomorphs and other extinct creatures. Discoveries after Chimerasuchus was found have in some ways made it rather normal, while others have made it even stranger. When Chimerasuchus was first described in 1995, not many herbivorous crocodiliomorphs had been found or properly recognized. The only two proposed at the time were Malawisuchus, who wasn't even named at the time, and Nodosuchus, who turned out to be a carnivore. Since then, many other plant-eating crocodiliomorphs have been found. Most of these belong to Nodosuchia, the same branch of Crocodilia morpha as Chimerasuchus. These include Simosuchus from late Cretaceous Madagascar and Pachysuchus from mid-Cretaceous Tanzania. However, Hibivri evolved independently in Nodosuchia several different times. Combined with an incomplete skeleton, this means it is uncertain where Chimerasuchus fits in Nodosuchia. Additionally, while Chimerasuchus was found in East Asia, most other Nodosuchians have only been found in the southern continents. During the Cretaceous period, the fauna of the northern and southern hemispheres were largely separated. All of the other northern Nodosuchians, such as Ogersuchus, have been found in Europe, which unlike North America and Asia, was still close enough to the southern Gondwanan continents for southern species to regularly colonize it. This makes Chimerasuchus' presence in China a very notable exception to the norm. Therefore, while a plant-eating crocodiliomorph is no longer so unusual, Chimerasuchus remains a very strange little reptile. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something interesting. Have a great day, and if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button.